Testing, testing, one, two, three. What's going on, Christian? How you doing, bud? What's up, Lunar Zach? Fia Vang, what's up? Riley Andrew, I'm good. How are you? Lunar Zach, you didn't find the Lancia from CK, so that's too bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got a few of them. I went out hunting again today. Of course, we had the newest video, the upload last night. Uh, but I did go out again today looking for more sea case, and I did find some extras. I'll show you guys those in a second. Uh, I did find plenty of Lancias. I I knew that that car was going to be underappreciated. I knew that the E92 M3 was going to be underappreciated. So... Eco Stang 14, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Cozy Leo, what's up, buddy? Uh, Cozy Leo, I got your email. Yeah, uh, if I remember right, you mentioned that you had gotten your giveaway. So awesome, good to hear, buddy. I'm not very good with emails, so bear with me. <laughs> it's a lot to keep track of between comments, emails, all that stuff. Amir Mohammed, what's up, bro? How you doing? James Gailey, what's up? Jorge Delgado, my dude, what's up? What's up, Graham? SJC77. So, is everybody fine at Sea Case? And is everybody as excited as I was to find it? I was freaking stoked. Uh, Christian Cortez, my stores are still in Q-Case, also Target. So your Targets are still carrying Q-Case as well? You guys should be at least on your, um, on your B-Dumps by now. Uh, Amir Mohammed, I want to find a Datsun 510, but it's so hard to find. Which one do you, which one are you looking for? Oh, Fia Vang, you got D-Case. Sweet. I sure hope to be able to find that FDR X7 Super, man. Dylan Koch, what's up? Brooklyn Chalmers, what's up? It's always one or the other, huh, Brooklyn? You still use that account? <laughs> I was expecting to see Offset Diecast. Uh, Amir Muhammad, the black one. Wow, you're still looking for the N and P case black Momo Dotson. Wow. Well, if you uh, if you have continue having trouble finding, let me know. I'll, I'll help you out. Uh, Fia Vang, that's right. You were saying Publix. Yeah, you were saying Publix was a uh, drop in D case. I wish we had those here, but we don't. Uh, Dotson Man Diecast, a.k.a. Mark, what do you think of turtles? I like puppies better. Um, oh, everybody has a job tonight. Everybody who's subscribed and uh, tuned in to Dotson Man Diecast, uh, you guys got to bug him about his new video because he's taking forever. It's going to be good. Uh, Jorge Delgado has another wave of C-Case hitting. Sweet. Did you get everything out of C-Case that you wanted? Did you find a Super or an ID? Big A's, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I promise I'll do better at keeping up with your videos. I'm sorry. Uh, Car Guy asked, hey, do you know what time Walmart restocks? Um... It varies by location, but um, typically around around my parts, early right at opening is a good time to go, or right at close, because right at close they start dragging out pallets. 
Um, but they don't drag everything out and sometimes they'll stock it overnight and it'll be sitting there in the morning. So, uh, that's a man diecast can't rush perfection. Okay. All right. You have eager subscribers waiting for material though. <laughs> Um, okay, so while I wait for the comments to roll in and uh, wait for some more people to roll in, uh, I'll go over some finds that I found, just a couple. Uh, it's just the, C the C-Case cars, everything that I was looking for uh, on the last episode I found today. So, friggin' sick. Yellow R35 GTR. So I picked up a couple of these. And I want to show you one that is a little different. So here's the here's the other one. Now, tell me if you can see what's wrong with it. <laughs> it's freaking goofy. Hold on, let me see if I can get the camera angle just right. <laughs> you see that? Do you guys see that tampo error? <laughs> The friggin' red part of the tail lights is down on the bumper. <laughs> yeah. I again I'm not much for collecting errors and stuff, but that was pretty cool. And then I don't know if you guys remember this one. This was uh before last episode I found this one. And apparently a lot of people are finding this error. And are you surprised? Are you surprised that the cards would get switched up like much on such a broad level? I mean that you know as far as color goes, they look almost identical. So, pretty funny. Um, I still wouldn't consider myself an error collector, but like I said, if I see something cool like that, yeah, I'm definitely going to grab it. That's pretty cool. Uh, Danny R., yeah, uh, yeah, definitely check to see if it has the error. And then another thing I was checking with, um, mm. I have a couple more over here, and I'm looking at all of them. So I know that some people were wondering... Um, I'll show you again. It does have the dimpled diffuser. So all the ones that I took, at least all the ones that I took today, I didn't check them all, but they have the dimpled diffuser. So, um, it's interesting because a lot of people were after the dimpled diffuser for this super, for the GKS R35, but... I'm thinking later on down the line, they, that might actually become the more popular one, the one without the dimple, because it looks like they were meaning to put the dimple on it. So, I don't know. Just some food for thought, I guess. Hong Kong Philly, what's up? All right, so yellow R35 GTR. Big, big, big winner for me. And I know Datsun Man Diecast, because for those that don't know, Datsun Man Diecast actually drives a black edition in real life he has an r35 gtr yes he's balling but no he still can't get any women um another big winner blue civic si this is definitely sentimental to me because i have owned two of these i in real life i've never um i never owned the electron blue pearl one but i owned uh the Black Pearl and the Milano Red one. So, um, very sentimental car. One of my favorite cars. I actually had that, my, which was my nicer one. Um, the black one I actually had when I met my wife back in 2007. So, kind of sentimental to both of us. In a way, it's kind of one of those cars I wish I never would have sold or got rid of. Actually, I didn't sell it. I I ended up trading it for an EG with, uh, with this, um, an Integra Type R. V18C5 engine in it, so I made that into a really nice car, but it's still, if I can go back, I probably wouldn't have done it. Um, on to the next. Did not find the Super, but I found two, and I took them both. Call me greedy, I guess. But I did end up taking both of the Roger Dodger main lines. Um, friggin' beautiful. I think I, I really like this super, the, even the main line, even the main line. As I said, I'm a big fan of this casting and 
you know, no matter what it is, um, you know, the Kroger exclusive and all the rest of them. Um, somebody was asking what they say. These are both, I thought they were different, but they're the same. Uh, signs point to yes. So these ones are signs point to yes. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah. So signs point to yes. So I got two of the same, which is okay. I kind of want to split one. I kind of want to open one and wheel swap one and in detail one. So friggin' nice, man. I really like it. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like it. So um, other than that, I did find... Mm -hmm. Uh, found that guy too, the GT40. So freaking sweet. I picked up, I think three, yeah, three of them. Picked up three of them. I want to wheel swap one and detail the back. But friggin' gorgeous. Love it. Absolutely love this deco on it. It's friggin' phenomenal. So awesome. Got that. Okay. Let's answer some questions and then we'll do an unboxing from my good friend Victor. Let's check it out. So, uh, offset Hot Wheels. I wish I had that GT40. Yeah, that's nice. It's very nice. Yeah, I was, I was just kind of comparing it to the uh, to the Super. Uh, Amir Mohammed, did you give Kehlani the blue uh, R35 Super? I was almost about to, and then she changed her mind. I was like, "Do you really want this?" And she was like, "No." So I was like, okay, I'll keep it. Still sitting right over here. Uh, Bruce Zoya, what's up, buddy? Uh, Turbo 740, I like how it says different sayings, too. It's a really cool uh, little twist and little gimmick that they put on a car. I think it's really, really cool. Honestly, so far, I really, really enjoy um, the Mattel game series. I think it's really great. And I think the series that they gave that we gave up this year was Flames, if I'm if I'm correct. I haven't I haven't seen a Flames car leaked yet this year, so I think that that's the one that they uh, swapped out for, so that they can make room for Mattel games. And honestly, it hasn't disappointed very much at all yet. I mean, I really like that Uno 32 Ford, and I freaking love this eight ball, this eight ball Roger Dodger. It's freaking nice. Yeah, Ian Adams. Yeah, there is no Flame series. Yeah, so that's probably why is because they had to make room for the Mattel Games one. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, Danny R. Yes, Yellow STI is very nice. Yes. Um, Offset Hot Wheels, rest in peace, Flames. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be back sooner than later, so... Uh, Amir Mohammed, I cannot wait for the Nissan Premium set. Yes, if that is if that is legit, um, which everything that um, Ministry of Diecast posts, I take as legit because it is legit. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed, go over and subscribe to Ministry of Diecast. Best leak and preview channel there is, in my opinion. Um, yeah, if he leaked it, it's probably legit. So it, I can't wait either. Um. Uh, truck guy 13 Dalton Mathis. What's your favorite super treasure hunt in 2020? It's going to be the G case R35 GTR followed closely by the in case Jake's demon. And I also really enjoy the Chevelle, the Pagani Wyro and the 57, the 57 Chevy. But if I had to pick just one, it's for me, R35 GTR. That's my favorite one. Uh, let's see. Amazing Cars 13, what will the next Hot Wheels cars, toy cars hit USA after C-Case with the Lancia? Uh, people are already reporting D-Case in, um, I think, California at Publix. I think it's California. Um, Fia Vang, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's California. Um, so D-Case is already hit, and a couple people cracked a couple of single dumps. Uh, one guy on our Facebook group. I can't remember his name, but um, he got to a dump, and it was an international D-Case dump, and he found the RX-7 Super. Um, 
So, uh, Kane804, favorite ID chase of last year. It's going to be the, the end case Aston Martin. I really like that one. I think that one is just it's gorgeous. It's friggin' gorgeous. I like the I like the Dodge 2 and Q case and um, the Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker's nice. And Time of Taxi, believe it or not. I really, I really like the Time of Taxi one. Uh, June Zafra, can you grab some yellow 510s for me? Dude, everybody's asking for it. Um, you know, I'll, I'll do my best. A lot of people asking me. Uh, Michael Cartboy, any supers you want to trade? I definitely want a Roger Dodger. Um, but I can't think of anything right now that I have to give up. So we'll have to see. Uh, Dylan Koch, did you see the fake eBay Sesto Super Custom? No, I did not. I'm not sure if I want to see it. That's just, that's sad. Uh, Toy Gaz, what's the most expensive casting you've ever bought? What's up, by the way, Toy Gaz? Um, that's going to take me a lot of time to think. I really haven't purchased very much in my collecting. I usually go out and I find it. Or I trade for it. So, um, if we're talking in a trade trade value, um, so I found my I found my first super I ever found was the Back to the Future hover, um, and this was back when I used to go to diecast shows locally, and I went to one, and um, the person who holds the the uh, the show uh, he runs his own online shop and everything. Uh, he had the nine three four point five super. And I would have done, I know I was going to do anything to take it off of his hands. Uh, so I think I ended up trading him the Back to the Future hover. And I, I gave up a lot of, a lot of cars to get this. And I did it willingly because that, this technically is my first super. It's the first one that I ever got and kept, if that makes any sense. So um, you show me that he has this. It's a factory sealed one, which is friggin' sweet. Um, but yeah, I gave up a lot. <clears throat> to get that, um, trying to think what else. My my uh, Datsun five ten super, um, the old red wagon. I traded Datsun man diecast for that one, and um, I gave up quite a bit for that. But <laughs> I mean, who cares? I mean, whatever. You know, it's a five ten super. Yeah, Fiat Vang. That one's expensive. Yeah, I mean, yeah, typically if you can find it, it's anywhere between four to six hundred. I've even seen them in the thousands and, you know, all those Japanese and the Japanese and Malaysian uh, eBayers, you know, for some reason they like to post stuff up twice, twice the going rate of U.S., which is just mind blowing. But, yeah. Uh, Arnold Damian Dotson, man, is such a nice guy. He's all right. He ain't all that. No, I'm joking. Yeah, he's super nice, super huge heart, and obviously funny as heck. So, uh, Plymouth Superbird, who is excited for the Nissan Supercar? You must be talking about uh, what is it? The R is it R three ninety? This guy, absolutely fantastic, man! I can't wait for that thing. Uh, Derek F, you think the RLC twenty twenty Supercharger Master Set is worth buying when released? You gonna try to order it? Yes, I'm going to try to order it, and yes, I think it's worth it. Especially if you can't find supers out in the wild. I mean, yeah. Uh, Danny R, what are your thoughts on the 2021 Super Treasure Hunt RX7? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I hope to find it. Um, I really like the color. The color is very, very unique because the main line is kind of a, kind of a black and charcoal and. The super is like almost like an anthracite, like I mean it's like spectra grayish black and I don't know, very unique color. I really enjoy it. Uh Amir Mohammed, how much is the super velocita worth? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure to be honest. Uh but it's pretty safe to say that any fantasy or uh, unlicensed super is not gonna probably go for very much, you know. Uh, Dylan Koch, yes, I am on RLC. Do I plan on renewing? I am not sure because there's just... I was talking to my moderators this morning on the group and they were just having all kinds of issues trying to redeem their points and everything. So, um, yeah, pretty crazy. 
Ben Slater, what's up? Uh, Christian Cortez, I have the 2021 Super Corvette on its way to me. Sweet. Uh, June Zafra, I'll do my best. Where are you located, June? Gilbert Luque, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, Torben Mears, yes, I have not seen leak picks, but uh, there is a Civic Type R coming to uh, the Supers lineup this year in 2021, and uh, I am super excited to see that. It's going to be another great, it's, so far it's another great Supers year. I mean, I'm sorry if there's a bunch of JDM haters out there and stuff. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I like JDM, I like Exotic, I like Domestic, I like everything. I'm just as excited to see that GT500 Super as I am the Datsun Super. It's just, I think the lineup is great so far this year, just like last year. Yeah. McCain 804. If you could only collect zoom in or wheelie chair, which one and why? I think I would collect the zoom in. There's more variations. <laughs> uh, that's funny. RLC Street Wiener, no, please. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the treasure hunts are lacking a little bit this year. Um, I mean, the Baja Bone Shaker in A case was cool. Um, Street Wiener, I don't care for. The Dodge Van is cool. The Dodge Van is cool. I like the Dodge Van. Um, <coughs> Reach over here and grab it. Treasure hunt. C-Case treasure hunt. 77 custom Dodge van. Not the super van, to be confused with E-Case. Um, but I really like this. I don't know why, but ever, si ever since that first Dodge van, the Seafoam green one, um, you know, which has like the Kaido House deco on it and stuff, I just thought that that was the coolest thing. And then... Um, this one too. And this one is pretty much the same thing. It has a, yeah, it's got a transparent roof, just like that Kaido house one. That's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I like that. Uh, next one's going to suck the Motosaurus. I don't, I'm not, I mean, obviously I'm going to get one to have for a collection, but I'm not excited about that. Um, I think that I think that's just one of those castings that get way too much loves. So, um, hold on, guys. All right, sorry, sorry. Um, so, yeah. So as far as treasure hunts, and then I I don't think I know what's coming out after D case. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, James Gailey, how's the room setup coming along? It sucks. <laughs> I haven't made any progress whatsoever. Um, if anything, it's gotten worse. It's gotten worse in here. It's just, it's a mess. It's terrible. I really gotta, I really gotta work on it tonight and work on cleaning it up. Uh, Ian Adams, EK Super is the Corvette C7 Z06. Yep, looks very similar to the older, the older k &N Corvette, which I do not have. On, so I'd like to get that one and get get the uh, get the next the next one coming out. Uh, full custom diecast. Okay, D cases. No, uh, is it the Skull Shaker? I thought it was the Motosaurus. Maybe that's E case. I I don't remember. Static at Crispy finally picked up some B-Case cars. Sweet. I'll be happy if I never see B-Case again. <laughs> uh, Dylan Koch, can we see all your RLC? I have some hanging up here. I have I have the old uh, 510 Bluebird um, mail-in. I have this past year's gold one. Um, 240Z Chameleon color. Blue R34 GTR, purple R34 GTR membership car, uh, the last uh, Urban Outlaw uh, Porsche, uh, blind. I have some more. I just haven't hung them up yet. So, 
Brian Page found the Roger Dodger Super. Congratulations. Uh, Amazing Cars 13, I did not take my majorettes out of the box. So I'm not sure if I'm going to because, I mean, ugh. this card is, this is like the most mint majorette card I've ever seen in my life. So I'm probably not going to take this one out of the box. I've kind of been thinking about looking for another one so that I can open it. Um, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep that Porsche set closed when I find that. So really stoked about that. Uh, Static Crispy, the Matchbox 350Z. Are you talking about the white one with the gold? Yes, I have that for my wife, and that was courtesy of uh, King Nut Diecast. Thank you, Eric. Uh, Derek F., if wifey said hair or beard has to go, which one you shave him? Well, probably at the moment. I can, sh I can shave my beard. I'm cool with that. <laughs> um. Uh, C4 Macho 333, what are your thoughts about GameStop exclusives? And if you have any, which ones do you like the most? Yes, I have them all from this last batch. Um, overall, all of them are really nice. I really like all of them. I like the Porsche Safari. I like um, um, I like the Big Air Bel Air. But um, my two favorites are going to be the Bentley Continental GT3 and the Red GT500 for sure. Those those cars are just absolutely fantastic. Uh, Brandon B. Hi, amazing cars. I like your channel. Thanks for thanks for tuning in and joining, bud. Really appreciate that. Uh, Arnold Damien, how long is your hair? Can we get a flow check? Um, if I untie it, it comes down to my comes down to my chin, right down here. So uh, I didn't originally grow it out to just grow out a man bun. It's just I haven't been able to get to the the salon to get my hair did. So my only option right now is to tie it up because it bugs me if it gets in my face. So I've been growing out my hair. I started growing out my hair like maybe two months before I started the channel. And I've been growing it ever since, just on the top of, of course. But uh so yeah, now that we're done talking about hair. <laughs> Uh, Dog Ring 32, do you have the two road, Roadkill Rotsons? I do not. I do not. Uh, James Lanier, I'm really liking the Mini GTs. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. I'm trying to stay away. My buddy David is not helping me because he sent me a Tarmac Works uh, FD2 Civic Type R, and I really enjoyed it. It's freaking beautiful. and It just reminds me of all the Porsche castings that I really want from Tarmac Works. I apologize if my drinking is too loud. Somebody made a comment last video. I'm sorry. I do not have a shotgun mic. I just use my Boya BYM1, which is a great cheap mic, and I've already gone through two of them. So it's like 20 bucks shipped on Amazon. Uh, J Skipper, no, uh, fries. So whatever your Kroger's is. And if you're in California, it should be Ralph's and, uh, oh, what's the name of that other little grocery store that's owned by Kroger? I forgot. Uh, Francisco Silva says, don't drink. I'm thirsty, bro. Uh, Uprising Gaming. Hello. How, hello, Honest. How was your day? It's going good. I'm a little tired. Did a lot of hunting. Grabbed some more C-Case cars today. So uh, just was looking forward all day to hopping on and chatting with you guys. Uh, well, a lot of you guys have found the Roger Dodger Super. Congratulations. Yeah, it's... A lot of people think I live in a honey hole, but I really don't, guys. It's uh, There's so much competition here. It's absolutely insane. And if you're not first there, you are definitely last. Uh, James Gailey, the Dodge Van Sea Green. I'm wheel swapping. Sweet. Yeah, I got one, too, that I need to uh, dig into, but I'm going to slam it on its gut and put some put some nice wheels on it. Uh, Jay Mao, what's up, buddy? Thanks for tuning in. Okay, um, so I got a box for my friend Victor. I already know what's in it, so let's unbox it and pull this thing out. Just want to give a huge shout out to Victor. Um, I'm going to show something in here that I believe he makes from scratch. 
And uh, if he's on, I'm not sure if he's on here. I'll give out his contact info if it's okay with him, but I just want to make sure it's okay with him before I give out his info. Uh, but he is on our group, and he was kind enough to hook me up with Hot Wheel Mass. Friggin' sweet. Friggin' sweet. There goes my cover that I'm a Hot Wheel collector. <laughs> Can't be too stealth with that on. Uh, one is for me and one is for uh, Kehlani. So, yeah, friggin' nice. Cotton. Still seems breathable. Do a little fit test. Probably give it a little wash and... I'm just looking at that. I'm looking at the delayed stream so I can see what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like it. So, yeah, my friend Victor, he is on our Facebook group. If you haven't joined, head over and, and uh, submit a membership request. Just remember to answer all your questions. He's on there. Um, and I will ask him if it is okay to share his information for the future, if you guys are interested. Uh, so let's see. What is this? This is a mystery car. Um, oh, hold on. It's red and I'm trying to see. Trying to see which one this is, guys. Oh, it's probably the Datsun 240Z. Sweet. I'm such a nerd. I did not know. Is this the newest mix? This is the newest. No, is it? Is this is the this is 2020 mix series two, isn't it? For mystery cars. Am I right? Arnold Damien says the ASMR is killing me. Yeah. <laughs> My daughter watches that crap all the time and it sends goosebumps. I just I can't stand it. I don't know why anybody likes that. Does anybody know what ASMR stands for? Because I've been wanting to know. And I haven't looked it up. Okay, Plymouth, Superbird, Francisco Silva, yes. Okay, series two mystery machines. I need to get I need to get caught up on these. Um so there's a there's a Huracan Super Trofeo. That's the I really want that BMW M3 GT2. So we know how much I love that. I definitely want that. There's a Ford GT, the Datsun 240. Here, there's a Plymouth Superbird in here too. Sweet. Yeah, I need to get caught back up on these. Yeah, because that's an awesome mix right there. I want that Super Trofeo and that Beamer. Oh, last two inches. Oh, Graham. Graham said the last two digits on the back of the car. Uh, which one is it? Is it the Y8127F618? This is car number 11. Um, I'm not sure. I don't see the number. Under the flap. Ah, wow. How's about that? I just got learned to do. Thank you, Graham. So for those that don't know, like I didn't. There's a number right there. Those last two numbers tell you, yep, new too. You guys are awesome. Sweet. Yep, this is card number 11 and it has 11 right there. Sweet. Okay, awesome. So my, <laughs> I'm so dumb. Uh, so like my tactic was to just go through and look at the wheels and look at the paint and then I can figure out what it is. And um, that's going to save a lot of time. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. Enough of the mystery cards, but yeah, I need to get cracking on that mix. Cause that is a great, that's a fantastic mix. Um, so let's see what else is in here. It looks like there's a couple cars in here. I was only expecting one. So let's see. Let's 
Let's see what Mr. Victor sent. Okay. Oh, sweet. He sent me a uh, an Escort ID. This is from 2020 C case ID. Friggin' nice. Thank you, Victor. Yeah, the card and the blister are a little beat up, so I'll probably I'm probably gonna free this thing. Let's free it right now. Sweet. Boom. And don't worry, guys, I got a card with one of these. So this is actually one of the harder IDs to find last year, at least for me. I did not find very many of these. I think I found maybe two. Maybe two of them. Uh, keep your cards for your mail-ins. All right, you guys ready for this? So I traded one of my beloved Pagani Wire Supers. And I did it because I want to put this thing behind me so bad. <laughs> you have no idea. It sucks because I... It's a super and I love it and I want to collect it, but I went through so much trouble trying to find this thing and I couldn't find it. And it broke my streak, so I'm a little bitter at it. So there's the Corvette. So there's BK Super right there. So I traded a Wyra for this. He was really looking for the Wyra. He couldn't find the Wyra. I was more than happy to help him out. Um, and I just, I wanted to put BK's behind me, so... <laughs> So I did the trade, I pulled the trigger, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful and I'm thankful thankful for Victor for, for doing it. Um, I do have a loose one up here that I acquired a, a while back. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful to just finally get this under, under my belt, seriously. I did not want to give up the Wyra. I love the Wyra Super, but it is what it is. So I'm not going to find the Super, and that's okay, because I'm tired of looking through BKs. So... Um, so yeah, with that in mind, let me grab, we'll do a little ceremony that I wanted to start on the channel. I'm going to grab a protector. And I know some people are going to ask where I get my protectors from. It's melionplastics.com. Uh, they have their own line of protectors, but they do sell sterling protectors as well. It's a sterling protector from ME Lion. So there's that. And so I know a lot of you guys I told when I hung these, originally hung these supers up, that yes, I am only hanging them up by... I'm only hanging them up by uh, thumbtacks, but so the red one indicates that I found it in the wild and white indicates that I did not. So let's hang this bad boy up and put it to rest <laughs> and the B case can finally, can finally go away. And as you can see, I didn't find B case last year either, which was one of the most nicest high demand supers that there is. So B case no like me. B case no like me. All right. Plymouth Superbird, that's really smart. Which one? The uh, the thumbtack identification? I just like to remember what I found and what I didn't find. Before I was hanging these up, I'd have a little... Um, um, God, what is it? It's like, a, you know, one of those little uh, stickers that you put on a page, like mark the page and it sticks out and it's different colors? I would always do a red one on the back of the protector to indicate that I found it. But now I do it this way. So, uh, Amazing Cars 13, I hope to get one Super Treasure Hunt this year. Good luck, buddy. I hope so, too. Angel Claudio, now I got ABC ND Super Treasure. Nice. Got a good head start to the year.
Bruce Zoyo, I bought an older Super and another Mustang I was looking at on eBay. Spent $10 total, and the seller sent both in protectors. I was kind of shocked. That's awesome. Amazing Cars 13, I still have no Super Treasure Hunts at all. Hopefully that changes soon for you, bud. You just got to get out there and hunt early and often, and yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. Uh, Michael, Michael Cartboy asked a really good channel. What made you start? What made you start your channel? Um, so I've been I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a long time, um, and I didn't really know what to do until um, I started my Facebook group, which is the same name, Honest Diecast Collectors and Customizers, and um, that's when I started getting really, really, really super serious about the hobby and just becoming a total diehard about it is when I made that group. Um, so that kind of helped push me towards the step of, Hey, you know, why don't you do a die cast, you know, a die cast channel. And originally when I started this, I, I had, I had set a goal to do like a customization channel, but um, after all the work and stuff, you know, I was going through it and I was just finding it's really hard to gather footage all at once. You know, I did some tutorials and some how to's and um, like, if you want to start customizing, here's how you start, you know, that video is doing really well. Um, you know, and those are great, but it wasn't until after I posted my first, um, my first hunting video that I realized that it's so much easier to generate content and generate it often and generate good quality content. Um, especially with the way that I talk in the videos is almost the way that I talk to my, it's, it is the way that I talk to myself before I started filming. I would, you know, call out case codes and, you know, call out cars that I'm seeing and, and stuff like that. And I was just like, well, I might as well film it, you know, why, why not, why not film it? So, um, that's kind of how it all started. And it's just, I, I became, you know, fully engulfed and, and obsessed with it. You know, it's, a, it, it's not just a hobby, it's an obsession and it sparked a whole new hobby and obsession in video editing and, you know, stuff like that. I really enjoy it and just, you know, creating content and having people watch it and, you know, be engaged with it. I mean, there's just, there's nothing better. It's just, it's really awesome. And I'm just very thankful for all you guys and everybody that subscribed to the channel. So that's it. That is that. Uh, Torben Mir polishing video. Yes. Yes. Coming soon. I have a 57 Chevy that I started for my, um, for my mom a long time ago. And I'm going to do the uh, duplicate, duplicolor metal cast in green um, spectra flame light because that's her favorite color. And um, I still got to go through and polish it. So that's going to be the one. That'll be the one. Uh, Nismo, what has been the hardest super to track down from the ones you've scored? From the ones I've scored, this one was hard. The QK shell was hard. It was very hard. This one too, the NK Jags Demon initially. Um, it was very, very, very hard to find at first initially, and then I ended up finding three. And, you know, same thing with the Chevelle, very hard to find. I ended up finding three. Um, yeah, those two. Those two, probably. Um, 57 Chevy K case. I, did, I didn't, I was at the point where I was just accepting that I wasn't going to find it. And then I went to a Walgreens and I found it. So um, I was really searching hard for that one. I really wanted that one too. Uh, Bruce Zoyo, I have not done zinc plating. I watched some videos on it though. It sounds very interesting. Uh, Stigmata found a Roger Dodger super today. Congratulations. Everybody found the super today but me. Congratulations. Uh, ben Slater's taking off. Wishing everybody a good night. Good night, Ben. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Uh, Lucas, Lucas Hanel. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Are most targets on 2020 cases? No. Um, all the targets here are dropping 2021 C case and they've been on, they've been on B case for about two or three weeks. So at least here. Hi. Hi. Hola. 
Uh, Arnold Damien found the Barbie monster truck today. Congratulations. I've been looking for that for her hardcore and have not been able to find it. So, uh, Skyline Stew. Hey, Derek. Favorite premium set or individual premium car? Um, uh, let's see. If we're talking 2020, it's definitely Thrill Climbers and... Definitely my favorite premium is the 934.5 out of that set. Um, I do really like the, the Eurofast uh, Fast and Furious set as well, the E46. That was one of my favorites from last year. Um, man, it was a great, great year last year for real riders, and I'm looking forward to 2021. Hey, Skyline Stew, where are you from? Just curious. Shred San Diego, hi. Hi, hi, hi. What's up, buddy? Uh, Jorge Delgado asks a really good question. Um, what do you think of people not sharing the location of where they hunt for Hot Wheels? Um, well, I don't think anybody's obligated to tell where they're getting stuff from, I guess. Um, I don't know. That's a really good question. I mean... I don't know. <laughs> That's a really good question. I mean, I, if you ask if you ask me, I'll tell you where I find stuff every time. It's it's no it's no problem to me, but a lot of people a lot of people do. Um, they treat it like a fishing hole. You know, they don't want to they don't want to give up the spot. So, but really, nowhere is like that here. Everywhere, everywhere, everybody knows where to get stuff from. There's no like secret. Um, there's no secret place, you know, to hunt for Hot Wheels, at least here in Arizona. So, um, so yeah, that's a good question. But if you ask me, I'll, I'll tell you every time. I'll tell you the cross streets and everything. Um, you know what? Going back to that question, I think it's actually more of a courtesy if you tell someone where you found something. Let's dive into that a little bit because... If you, if you look at it this way, when you find something, okay, say like a case gets dropped and you pull a super and you pull an ID out of it and somebody asks where you got it from. If you tell them you're technically saving the, the next guy a trip. I mean, if, if, it's on, if it's on a group or, or whatever, you know, like a local die cast group and you tell them where you find that stuff from, you're, it's, it's more of a consideration because um, you're saving somebody a waste of a trip if that's what they're after. But, if, you know, if it's not what they're after, then... Um, you know, if they're looking from main lines for that case or whatever, then, you know, then you're hooking them up. So I just thought about all that. Cause yeah. Uh, Nisma, what super in 2020 do you think will be the best from the ones you've seen so far? I've seen the GT 500 and I love that thing. I actually want that one more than the Datsun. Don't unfriend me, Mark. <laughs> That's a man diecast. Don't unfriend me, but yeah, I'm actually looking forward more to the G case GT 500 than I am the 510 so far. So I really want that one. That one is sick. Uh, amazing cards. I got like four or five new subscribers after Q and a number six. Sweet. I'm glad it worked. <laughs> I'm glad it worked. If you haven't tuned in, tune to Amazing Cars 13. Uh, SJC 77, GT500, and the Outlaw. Are you talking about the 356 Porsche? The one in the Gulf livery? I don't remember. Uh, Zayden Jackson's got to go. Have a good night, bud. Yeah, Danny R. I've told collectors where I found my Hot Wheels and made some good friendships from it. I recommend it. Good karma as well. Yeah. Yeah. So going back to that, I would I would say just tell people where you find stuff. I mean, nothing's that secret. So everybody really knows where to find stuff. Grocery stores, um, shopping stores, you know, a lot of antique places. I mean, yeah, there's very few places that are like super secret squirrel that you don't want to share. So. Uh, 
Um, not sure why, but my phone just turned. Okay, I think I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I forgot to plug my phone back in. Bonehead move. Sorry about that. Let's see if... Uh, let's see here. There we go. We're good. Okay, sweet. Sorry, guys. I forgot to plug my phone in before starting the stream and it died. Uh, that is okay if the chat went down. We can still chat if you guys want to. Okay, so what were what were we talking about? I forgot. <laughs> Fail award of the year goes to. <laughs> uh, just another diecast channel. Does anyone on here have an Instagram I can follow? Um, you guys feel free, man. L leave your links. Promote promote your channels. Promote your your IGs. It's all good, man. Hey, Alex, what's up, buddy? You missed a good fail. <laughs> I forgot to charge my phone and it died during the stream, so. Oh, we were talking about supers. Yeah, which... Uh, I think somebody asked me what super I was looking most forward to. It's definitely GK's GT500. Uh, hunting diecast Ben Bailey, do you have the 510 Super Treasure? Yes, the one from 2014, yes. Uh, Amazing Cars 13, I've mentioned you and Mustang Hunter in my latest toy NASCAR unboxing video from this week. Sweet, man, thank you. Thank you for the shout-out. I'll be, sh I'll be sure to go over and check it out, I promise. Um, it's... It's just, it's been really busy. I've, I really haven't had that much time to really um, get caught up on everybody's videos and emails and stuff. So I really apologize. It's just, it's a really tricky, really tricky time for us right now. So we're just, uh, you know, just bear with me and it'll happen. I promise. Same with the, the giveaway. Everything will happen just fine. Just hang in there. We'll get it done. Uh, you're very welcome, Amazing Curse 13. It's all about love and support. Uh, Supercar Gaming get Kids HD. The cool combi is so hard to find. Yes, because people hoard the crap out of them. Um, but stay tuned because it does carry over into C-Case. It is in C-Case, so you will definitely find it. Uh, Lucas, Lucas Hanel. If I ever find a super in my lifetime, should I put it in a case protector? Could put a case protector on it. It's completely up to you. I choose to. Um, for the ones that I'm keeping carded, I always put them in protectors. Um, but it's up to you. Some people rip them open and display them loose. Uh, Derek F., do you have any 83 Silverado convention cars? Or the Golden Super Treasure Hunt? No, I don't think so. Uh, 83 Silverado, no, because I, I just I don't collect square bodies, so for the most part, I have a couple, but not not very many. Uh, Nicholas Tobar, what do you recommend for people to start collecting Hot Wheels? That's a really really good question. Um, I'm glad you asked that. Um, so what I would recommend to anybody just getting into collecting Hot Wheels is Pick a certain number of castings um, that you like. Um, don't try to collect everything unless you just have endless space. But um, I would recommend just getting started with like maybe five castings and, and concentrate on getting caught up to all those castings. You know, collect all the variations, all the different ones. Um, and then, um, you know, work on getting the older models and, you know, have a complete collection of whatever model you like. So... Um, <laughs> toy guys, rip them open, drill them, and send me the wheels. <laughs> and Alex, Alex Graf said, swap all the wheels too. Um, yeah, customization is a totally different thing. 
Um, but yeah, so that would be a good place to start and then figure out your storage. I mean, do you want to keep them in totes? Do you want to hang them? Uh, do you want to build like shelves or the wall mounted slides where you can actually slide the cards into, you know, it's kind of up to you. So, um, but yeah, that'd be a good place to start. Derek F. Excellent point. Also, don't let the wife know how much you spend on them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Amazing cars. Hot Wheels needs to make more LMP1 toy cars like Porsche 919, Toyota TS040, and TS050. Audi R18, R15, R18 diesel. Yeah, that, those would be really cool. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping that they come out with more hyper cars, you know, kind of like, you know, they came out with the Koenigsegg uh, Yesco. Um, by the way, that recolor is in D case, if I remember right. So I'm super excited for that. Um, but I wish they'd come out with some more hyper cars, like, um, like maybe, um, like maybe a Lycan. Or however you prefer to say it, I say Lycan. Um, Lamborghini Ascenza SCV12, that'd be sweet. Uh, Jorge Delgado, I heard there's a Bugatti Chiron light blue coming in basic mainline 2020. I heard that too. I heard that there's a, a Super, so there's probably a Super version of that that's coming. I also heard that there's a premium, uh, a premium Chiron. So... There's supposed to be a premium Bugatti Chiron, which will probably be the next $60 real rider you see on eBay, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, Priya Tharshini, how many Hot Wheels do you have? Love from Sri Lanka. Thanks for tuning in. Um... I've downsized quite a bit. I've gotten rid of a lot, so I would say I'm probably down to maybe 3,000, 3,500. So, yeah, Jorge, the next team transports are sick too. Definitely. I cannot wait for that E46. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's just. Yeah, the, even the Hoonigan uh, Scumbug is really cool. So definitely looking forward to that. Uh, yes, Hot Wheels need more Volvo, Citroen, Hyundai, Bentley, Audi. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, Citroen would be, Citroen would be cool. That would be really, really cool. Uh, Juan Ozuna, where are you from? I am from the Phoenix metro area, Phoenix, Arizona. Gabriel Feria found his first super yesterday. What'd you find, buddy? Alex Graff, it's not that much. There's guys with like 30,000. <laughs> Skyline Stew, Bugatti Super Premium would be a lot of pain in the wallet. Yeah. If you have to resort to the secondary market, which hopefully none of you guys do. Oh, Gabriel Ferry, I found the Roger Dodger Super. Everybody's finding the Roger Dodger. That's funny. Yeah, Oscar Ford GT40 Super Treasure. I don't think they'll do that because they, you know, they just came out with the one from last year, the Gulf livery one. So, uh, Juan Ozuna, where's the best place? Do you, uh, do you think is the, what do you think is the best place to buy Hot Wheels? Uh, A and J Toys, if you buy them by the case, online for sure. That's the best. Uh, Francisco Silva, yeah, 22B Super would be freaking sweet. That'd be really sweet. Uh, 
Uh, supercar uh, gaming kids. No, I have not found. I didn't find the the super, but I found. I found two main lines today. So. You know, not the ultimate goal, but I'm friggin' friggin' excited. I'm so stoked for these. I think I think they look really cool. So, um, I'm definitely looking forward to cracking one open and having a little fun with it. So. Uh, is it M Sergeant Hydro or MSGT Hydro? How often do Ferraris come out? Uh, Hot Wheels lost their Ferrari license quite a few years ago. Um, so that's why you never see Ferraris. Uh, Jorge Delgado, the, the major at Nissan GTR is sick. Yes, it is. It's like Spectre Flame Blue. It's freaking beautiful. I really hope to find that. Uh, Angel Claudio, do you see the new Civic Si? It's amazing. Yes. Found it today, and it is amazing. It is amazing. I like it. Uh, Juan Ozuna, what's the best store to buy Hot Wheels? Um, I don't know. My favorite's Target, just because I've had the most luck. Um, so Target is definitely my go-to. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> Dollar General. I like Dollar General, but most of my lo my local Dollar Generals are always cleared out, so out of town Dollar Generals. I like those. Uh, Jay Skipper, thanks for tuning in, buddy. Thank thank you for always always being supportive and tuning in, man. Take care and happy hunting. Yeah, Gabriel Feria. I mean, Target is just Target's way more. I I can't stand Walmart. That's why I call it. The local disappointment every time it's just um i just can't fathom how the largest retail store in in the world probably is uh you know so far behind and just so misstocked and just i don't know maybe i'm maybe i'm just on a on a soapbox I, I don't know but i can't stand going to walmart i try to stay away from walmart as much as i can to be honest with you just the least amount of luck um yeah uh, Danny's diecast. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Amazing Cars 13 is going to make a YouTube showcase after this video. Sweet, man. I'll make sure to head over and tune in. Uh, Derek Marr found C case. Right on. Right on. Uh, Alex Graff, my target dropped a half shipper. It was 2020 L case, A and some B case. Yep. So you got you got what's been floating here in Arizona for a while. It's yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'll be so happy to just never see never see B case again. Uh, Speedy's diecast garage. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, let's see. Where'd you get the cardboard, uh, Nicholas Tobar? Where'd you get the cardboard container? It's holding your Hot Wheels in the back. Um, it was empty at a store, and I just asked if I could have it, and they gave it to me. So, um, not a lot of them would do that. For some reason, they think that they have to return them, which they probably never get returned. They probably always get destroyed. So, Uh, Takumi Miami, how do you store your pieces? So I have some loose and displays. Um, I'm going to build shelving for uh, more more loose ones eventually. Um, obviously started hanging some stuff up a little bit, but majority of my collection is in totes. Um, I get these totes from, I forgot, I forgot the brand of the tote. Um, but I get these totes from Target. They come in two different sizes, and I wish I never would have got the smaller ones because now I need to upgrade them all. Um but they fit three rows of Hot Wheels like perfect, perfectly on the inside. And I think you can stack them, I think you can stack them four layers high. So I use those. They work great. And they're stackable. <laughs> uh, toy guys, you get asked about the container on every live stream. I would auction it off of our view. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I don't think they would want this one. You have to you have to hold it up against the wall because it doesn't have the little legs on the bottom. So I see some people that try to sell these things, and it's just it's so dumb. Like people try to get like fifty bucks for one of those. No, that's just no. Uh, people and money. Aquatic Way, hi from Arizona. What's up, Aquatic Way? Where are you from in Arizona? I'm in Arizona as well. Alex Graff, ever owned a bagged car? I can't say I have. Can't say I have. Uh, I swore to my soul never to put air suspension on anything. Um, but I might do it for the LS430. I might. If I do end up keeping it and throwing some money into it, which I would like to do, um, I might put air suspension on it just because they're such long cars and they bottom out so easy. So if I just do coilovers and just lower it, you know, and, you know, I'm probably going to have some clearance issues, especially on here in Arizona. Uh, Toy Goss bags are for groceries. <laughs> yeah. Aquatic Way is from Queen Creek. Cool. I'm about, I'm about 20, 25 minutes uh, west of you. I'm in Chandler. <laughs> Alex Graff, life on air is a way of life. <laughs> uh, Nicholas Tobar, what's the most expensive car you own? Most valuable car I own, probably Datsun 510 Super from 2014, probably. <laughs> Speedy's diecast. Static is lame. I scrape everywhere. <laughs> Lee, Lee, Lee Yang, what's up, buddy? Aquatic Way, thanks for tuning in, man. Happy hunting out there in uh, in Queen Creek. You're not far away. Uh, Cryptic said, I want to know, have you seen the new Team Transport mix? I'm really looking forward to that. 32 GTR. I'm not sure when it'll come out. Do you know anything about that? I do not. About the the R32 GTR one? No. Um, I don't know anything about it um, as far as when it's going to come out. But um, yeah, we have we have I believe two mixes of transports to get through before anything else comes out. One one Ozuna. Do they have good stuff at Albertsons occasionally? Yes. Yeah, just recently they got some pretty good stuff, like some international N and P, and even some A. I've seen some A case, and then of course the fifty-three set. Um, they have the fifty-three set there as well. Uh, Nicholas Tobar, what's the most common super treasure hunt you see? Uh, I don't know. None, none of them are that common to me. Michael Martello, the only thing I found has been at the bottom of death bins. Yeah, a lot of people miss those and they don't look in there, but sometimes you can find some really good stuff in them. You can save a life. <laughs> you can pull it out. You can pull it out and hang it back on the pegs before it loses its life in there. Amazing Cars 13. Okay, I'll make, be sure to check that out, bud. Talking about his latest video. Uh, Derek F., why do you think no chase with the orange and blue set? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the 50, 51, 52 all had them, but this one doesn't. It's I don't know. I'm not sure why. Maybe they just can't come up with a concept car, you know, for a chase. I'm not sure. Uh, Jorge Delgado, has anyone found stash spots at stores? Yep, I have. Uh, definitely Dotson Man Diecast. Mr. Mark has. If you watch his hunting videos, he purposely goes and tries to look for people's stash spots. It's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, if you can't afford to pick them up then and there, just leave them, you know? Just leave them. If, if you can't afford to pick them up, you probably shouldn't be out there hunting anyways. Yeah, I'm uh, I am really very very interested in this in this mystery model mix. 
Now, Ford GT looks really nice. The Acura NSX as well. They just haven't. They just have this Acura NSX in a mystery model series, but I think it was white. I think it was white with green and red, if I remember right. It's almost like a Castrol livery. Um, and then definitely the BM the the E92 BM uh, BMW M3 for sure. And Super Trail fail. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, MSGT Hydro, what wheels do you use for customs? I primarily use Real Riders, but um, I do order wheels from uh, Pandas Custom Diecast and Van City Diecast occasionally. Um, but typically it's Real Riders. Torben Mirsch, open it. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. Yeah, we'll open it. ASMR. <laughs> what does A ASMR stand for? I forgot. Actually, I never knew. The 40Z. I could have swore this is old, man. This one is old. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm tripping. Very, very nice. Thank you again to Victor. Leopard Prince, Speedy's Diecast. Oh, Derek F. <laughs> Check the Walmart's bedsheet area for stash spots, <laughs> mostly behind the Leopard Prince. Oh. Lulu Uyeda. Hey, you should give Safeway a check again. Hawaii got DK shippers and a buddy of mine found an RX-7. Super sweet. Yeah, I believe the guy that posted um, that posted on my group, um, he found a DK's dump at um, a Safeway, if I remember right. If I remember right, and he got, he got that super. Uh, Toy Gods, I did check out a few of your customs, man. Excellent, excellent work, man. Sammy Sanchez, congrats on your finds, buddy. Uh, Torben Mirsch, this the series is old. Okay, I was because I, I've seen this one before. I've seen this one before. When is this one from? This is a. Uh, it's series two. So is it? What is it? Twenty nineteen? Is it twenty nineteen? 2019 Series 2. I knew I've seen this car before. I knew I have. Man, I need to find that Super Trofeo, man. Uh, Speedy's Diecast Garage. Hey, Honest, have you seen the new Fair Lady ID in yellow? I have seen leak pics of it, yes. And I'm super looking forward to it. I just don't know when it's going to be here. Uh, Samuel H., do you like the Tanner Fox Porsche? I love it. That's probably my favorite mainline of 2020. So that's my real life dream car. So I'm going to be definitely going to be partial. Uh, MN or M Newman photography looked at every single storm area and found Jack squat. Keep looking, buddy. Keep looking. Uh, Angel Claudio, yeah, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd consider it as, I'm not sure if it's considered a super, um, but the Barbie monster truck is a treasure hunt, that is, that is true. I don't know if it's considered a super treasure, I'm not sure. Uh, Speedy's Diecast, I know who has it, I can post the website. Uh, are you referring to... What are you referring to? Uh, Takumi Miami, what do you think about Major at Blue Porsche? I think I freaking love it. <laughs> I found this a long time ago and I left it and I, it was one of the biggest mistakes I ever made. So um, I found this at Target and um, yeah, man. It's friggin' beautiful. I friggin' love it. 
<laughs> uh, NASCAR guy, another person that found uh, Flying Customs and Dollar Tree. Sweet. Uh, old man die cast can't find diddle at target. Um, yeah, just keep checking back man that that wave is coming to you for sure for sure Just keep checking back <clears throat> Question do you guys think I should wheel swap it? Or leave it as is. You know, I actually have another. I didn't know that. I didn't know this, but I have a loose one right there. I think I'm gonna wheel swap this one. <laughs> Toy guys always wheel swap. Yeah. I think I know exactly what wheels I would put on here. I'd either put. Um, I'd either put the Pagani Wyra wheels or I'd put the, um, you guys remember the quick shifters? That Cuda, that black Cuda. I think those wheels would look really good on there. Uh, Skyline Stew, that is true. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, Americans are spoiled. We, do. we get all the exclusives and all that stuff. So, uh, Old Man Diecast, does anyone besides me actually like some of the wheels that come on the cars? Um, I actually do like some of the wheels. Um, one example, I really like I really like the wheels on this R35 on this new one. I really really like them. But the thing that just bugs me about them is that they're not real riders, and I'm, even then, I'm still, I'm still not fully satisfied if I, you know, shrink, do the shrink wrap trick on them and, you know, make them rubber. Um, I just like real riders. I like real tires. Uh, Lucas, Lucas Hanel, are there many collectors in AZ? Yes, there are tons. There are tons. Um, Tucson and especially my area, Phoenix, we it is plagued with collectors, man. That's why it, it's really hard. It's really, really hard. I know I made December look really, really easy and cherry, but trust me, it's it's not. It's definitely not that way. <laughs> we got all these pro uh pro air suspension and bags guys <laughs> sammy sanchez alex graf you guys love your bags a fall man hello how's it going Gonna talk about something that I forgot. Uh, Gabriel Feria, why did you start collecting? Uh, so I started collecting thanks to Dotson Man Diecast. Uh, my best friend Mark. Um, he was down here on a trip, and we went up to the grocery store to grab him some snacks, and he went and looked at Hot Wheels, and I looked with him, and it's. It's all downhill. It's all history from there. Um, but I was really looking for another hobby to get into, a cheaper hobby than uh, building and modifying cars, which is my number one passion and probably always will be. But um, I was looking for something similar, something that kind of applied that passion. And yeah, <laughs> collecting diecasts is completely it. It's 110% it. So yeah, that's kind of what influenced that. Uh, Samuel H, I got the Bugatti five pack with the Lambo Lotus. The others, should I open it? Yes. Yes, the Lambo is fantastic. The Benigno is fantastic. It's it's a fantastic five pack. Uh, 
Uh, Uriel Luna. Yes, that is the rumor that there is going to be a Bugatti Chiron Super, as well as a premium this year, supposedly. Uh, Jorge Delgado, absolutely true, and that's why I don't go to those shows anymore. Uh, Toy Gods, you saw a real 356 today for 135 grand. It's a pretty good deal, actually. Uh, Takumi Miami, I primarily collect Hot Wheels because um, that's what I chose to focus on first, and that's what I spend all my time trying to keep on top of. Um, I do have a couple of M2s. I do have... Uh, I do have one Johnny Lightning. I have a couple of Majorettes. Um, but Tarmac works thanks to David at Twice Diecast. So, yeah, I'm starting to collect a little bit of different things. Uh, Matchbox. I got Matchbox, too. So uh, Somebody asked what my favorite gasser is. My favorite gasser, um, honestly, and I'm not saying this you know, one of my grail pieces is a candy striper. I would love to have a candy striper someday. Uh, but honestly, this white lining convention from last year, I freaking love that gasser, man. That gasser is so freaking sick. It's just so clean. I love the color of the deco. I love the color of the car. Um, yeah, fantastic. I really like the black hole box at um, Beller Gasser, too. Uh, Gabriel Ferrius, sometimes I dream, sometimes I dream of Hot Wheels. <laughs> uh, Toy Gods, is that the floral one? Are you talking about the Candy Striper? Or Candy Striper is the pink one. I think from 2014 or 2016. I can't remember what year. I can't remember what year it was released. Uh, A-Fall, man. I love Mini GT, but my wallet hates them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Toy Guys, I'm not sure what you're asking about floral. Um, no. There's nothing floral about it. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about, no, you're talking about the, um, I'm talking about this one from 2020. That one? I know which one you're talking about. You're talking about the, um, well, you're talking about the Dutch one. Uh, MSGT Hydro, how much time do you spend a week hunting? I have no idea. I spend as much as I can hunting. Uh, Alex Graff, you should work for Mattel. Yeah, I would love to. That'd be a dream job. I think the nearest Mattel, like, distribution center or sales center or whatever you want to call it, I think is in Cali. I think it's in Cali. I don't remember where, though. Uh, Cheyenne... Bahad, what is your favorite car? My favorite cars to collect is 930 RWB Porsche, um, the 934.5 Porsche, and 911 GT3 RS Porsche. Those are my three favorite castings to collect. Uh, rumor has it there is a there is a uh, GT3 RS Premium coming this year too, and I'm oh man. I'm so excited. I still need to find that uh, that factory 500 one, that yellow one. Uh, Amazing Cars 13. Huggles has an open job for a designer. Hmm, I wonder if they require a degree for that. Uh, just another diecast channel. Everyone say the first color that comes to mind, red. I love red. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Amazing Cars 13. Uh, yeah. Let's go check. Let's go check. I'm going to take a quick break from, uh, from the chat window. Just keep talking. Let's look up Mattel Jobs. Join our team. Careers in Mattel. Sounds good to me. Uh... Uh, 
Okay. Well, I know there's nothing here in Arizona, really, so... Ooh, Quebec. Um, there's a warehouse associate position in Wisconsin. Uh, wow, tooling engineer in West Java for all my Indonesian people. They have a party planner position in Miami, Florida. Um, looking for this designer position. Hold on. Keyword. Design. Search. Okay, associate product designer in Quebec, product designer in New York, graphic designer in Quebec. Yeah, they got a couple. Let's see what they require, just out of curiosity. Now, this was posted back in December. This was posted over a month ago. Um, there we go. <laughs> Bachelor in industrial science or equivalent experience, yeah. Well, there goes my dream. <laughs> Designer position is fake news, toy gauze. <laughs> uh, Cheyenne Bahad, how many Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunts do you have? I would say probably about 25 or 30. Uh, some of them are duplicate, so... Uh, James Lanier, who do you merchandise for? Just curious. Uh, Toy guys, the reel on the new Jeep. Are you talking about the Trackhawk? The Trackhawk Premium that's coming out in the Fast and Furious set? Man, I can't wait for that. That's going to be sick. Uh... Uriel Luna, there's a rumor on Bugatti Veyron for 2021. That would be sweet. That would be sweet to see them come back out. You're not the first person that said that, so there might be some legitimacy to that. ADV still waiting for the Exotics Car Culture set. Yeah, I think that's the one that the 911 GT3 RS is going to be in, I think. Oh, okay, James. Uh, Takumi, Miami, any piece that you want but never found? Um, uh, well, there, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot that I never found. I never found this, this dumb B-case vet. <laughs> Uh, I never found the GT40. I was really looking forward to the B-Case GT40 from last year. Um, never found the Sesto. I was always hard up for the Sesto. Never found it. What else? There's some non-super stuff that I was really looking forward uh, forward to and never found as well, I don't think. Um, oh, uh, the mix of Zamax last year, the second or third mix, the one with the Bugatti Chiron, that mix never hit our area. It never hit our area, so... Um, I was never able to find that uh, Zamac, and I was definitely looking forward to it. So, uh, Just another diecast channel. What's your go-to out-of-state city hunt? And my go-to is Yuma, Arizona. Uh, well, the only out-of-state hot wheel hunting that I've done is in SoCal, and it hasn't been anything spectacular at all. Um, I did... I did do some hunting in Yuma when I went through there last time and didn't really find anything. Um, I think I was on the hunt for N and P case when I went through there last time and yeah, I didn't really find too much of anything. So, uh, I would like to go hunt in New Mexico, like just go check it out. Um, 
you know, Utah, it seems like a lot of the guys on the Utah board, it seems like they, they find a lot of good stuff up there. So definitely wouldn't mind. I like to go visit my good friend Clint in Oklahoma. He finds stuff all the time. He finds supers all the time, almost at will. Is he's in Purcell, Oklahoma, and he's, there's just nothing there. Uh, Cheyenne bah Bahad, when did you start collecting? Three years ago. Yeah, San Diego. Just another diecast channel. The first time I found N case was. Um, God, I can't remember the exact area of, um, I can't remember the exact area in San Diego that we stopped at, but we stopped at a Walmart that was east on the eight, quite a ways, you know, where you go up and you go past SDSU. Um, it's like past there. So, um, that was the first time I found in case, but other than that, just nothing. Uh, just another diecast channel in Yuma. You have to hit the 99 cent stores, really. Okay. I'm assuming they got a whole bunch of A case down there, but that's probably died out. I'm kind of eager to see because I know that they probably had, excuse me, they probably had some success with that A case wave that went through the 99 cent store. So um, it'll be interesting to see if they, they decide to do another wave this year. <laughs> Derek F, yeah. Wifey's cooking. She's air frying some more stuff. She only likes to air fry when I'm on when I'm on live stream. You're welcome. Yep. See. Uh, yeah. Just another diecast channel. Yeah, San Diego. Yeah. Last time I was over there, we were in. Um, we we're kind of staying over in the Laguna Beach area, and you know, found some nice. Like die cast shops and stuff, but other than that, man, it was just tough, tough pickings. Toy guys, I do not have a PO box, but I will be investing in one soon. Uh, Chris Haggerty used to go down to Seattle, Washington, best to hunt down there. Interesting, yeah. If you didn't know, I'm I was born and raised in Tacoma, Washington. Just moved down here. Six years ago. Thanks. Six years ago. So, born and raised. Wasn't into Hot Wheels collecting when I was up there, so I have no idea how, how good or bad it is up there. <laughs> Old man diecast. Old man diecast said, my wife only wants to mow the grass when I'm washing my car. <laughs> Uh, Mike Golock found the GT3 RS at Walmart yesterday. You're talking about the yellow, um, the yellow factory 500, man. I can't wait to find that. Whew. You have no idea. <laughs> uh, Derek F has the wife found any chases or supers. Mine found the mini Cooper still the thought that counts. Yeah. I mean, a super is a super. Um, no, she hasn't found any chases. She doesn't. Um, she's brought back some diecast for me from Canada because her work. She works from home, but she's based out of Canada. Um, and the couple times she has to go up there for training before the whole COVID thing, she brought some cars home for me. So that was really cool. I really appreciated it, and it made me really, really happy. <laughs> yep, Alex, I agree. She doesn't really like to buy me Hot Wheels, but um, she did buy me my 
beloved GoPro Hero 8, which I use to film for the channel now. I absolutely love it. And I am most thankful and most grateful. <laughs> Just so that you know. Uh, James Lanier, uh, come home to visit. I will take you hunting, okay? Sounds good. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't mind checking out like some really like because uh, my friend Mark, uh, that's a man diecast. He's up there. He's in the um, he's in the Stanwood area, and I always tell him, man, you should go to like North Bend or like Wenatchee or just go way out there. But he's lazy and he doesn't want to go that far. <laughs> I would be going like to some crazy places up there. That's, that's the way I prefer to do it here. And some of my best finds have been in the middle of nowhere, like just crazy places. Um, Amazing Cars 13, okay. Just make sure you catch up on your sleep because <laughs> we'll be going far. Uh, Alex Graff, yes, that's like my... My dream is to is to do like a cross country trip. I want to go like all the way to like the southeast because I really want to do a collab with Jesse from Hot Off the Wheels. That's like one thing I want to do. I think we'd have a really good time. Um, I want to go out and do a collab with him, and he's in Georgia. So I would like to drive through and just hunt crazy and just meet up with people like along the way and like just like a two week like road trip and man just meeting with other uh collector creators along the way and just meeting up for episodes and shooting and man i think that'd be eight i think that would be amazing that'd be so much fun all right guys we're going on uh yeah, we're over an hour and a half. We're at an hour and 40 minutes, and the chat's died down a little bit. So um, we'll go ahead and cut it here. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you for letting me show my C-Case finds that I found today. Um, great unboxing from my friend Victor. Thank you so much for the trade and the extra stuff. Um, wasn't expecting that, so thank you very much. Got the, got the Z right there. Um, and thank you for the mass and... Um, yeah, if, if you guys want to hop on the Facebook group, just don't forget to answer all the questions before you get on. Um, Victor is on there. You know, if you can inquire about the mass there, if you guys are interested in the mass, um, or, you know, maybe I'll get with him and maybe we'll do a giveaway on some or something. Um, but yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Um, we're still working on a lot of footage for stuff, including Kehlani's, um, collection update um obviously the giveaways we got three giveaways coming up so guys make sure to stay tuned uh we're gonna do them all at the same time because we're we're just at that we're at that point you know i'm sorry for being late but we're at that point to where um might as well just do them all all at the same time so um so yeah stay tuned happy hunting go out to target find some c case it's a great case. It's a fabulous case. It's so much better than B. <laughs> um, and thanks again to Victor for the uh, for the Corvette Super for getting this monkey off of my back. Thank you so much. And um, tune in for some more episodes. We're going to be hunting hard and hunting often. So um, thanks for all the support. We're almost at 2,500 subscribers. So thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Again, just insane growth for like eight months. So absolutely insane. So thank you. Uh, Torben Mears, polish car. Yes, I will get a video done for uh, how to polish a car. Um, I'll start on that tonight. So um, I got to go check my sandpaper stock and make sure that I got sandpaper. Yeah, I'll do that. That's my homework tonight. So um, thank you again. I wish you all the best. Uh, stay safe. Don't take anything for granted out there, guys. Don't be don't be like a daisy. You just never know. Whatever your opinion is on the whole pandemic thing, just be safe and be courteous of others. Uh, stay safe, happy hunting, and we'll see you next time. Peace.